Good evening. Thank you for joining us first tonight. It's a shocking statistic. Five deaths in York's rivers in just eight days. That's what happened earlier this year. Now, the city's rescue boat has teamed up with the fire service and the lifeboat charity, the RNLI, to teach people working in bars and restaurants along the riverside what to do if someone falls into the water. Well, Ian White is in York City Centre for us now. Ian, over to you. Yes, Kayleigh, good evening. I'm at uh, King's Stathe, which is a popular spot for people to come on a nice day like it has been today to come down and perhaps have a few drinks with friends. But the River Ouse, which is next to it, can be a very, very dangerous place. Take a look at this uh, fire engine behind me, in fact. It's uh, a new vehicle and it's got this new uh, branding on it, Be Water Aware, pointing out just how dangerous the situation can be down here if people do end up getting into the water. But there are exciting plans that have been launched today to try to help people who might be in distress. And, you know, they're relying on the people who work in the bars and restaurants along this riverside to actually intervene if there's an emergency and potentially save someone's life. A specialist water rescue team from North Yorkshire Fire Service patrols the River Ouse in the centre of York. They've joined forces with the RNLI to train staff from local bars and restaurants on how to help if someone is in trouble in the water. I'm going to throw this throw bag for you, mate. Just on your back and float for me, please. For Deputy Bar Manager Chris, it's a useful lesson. He's been taught how to instruct a casualty and throw a line out to them. With this being like a really big bar, especially in this city, and you know we've got the really big unis, and we've got Freshers Week coming up, so we've got new people coming to the city, so we're going to have lots of new people, we're going to have lots of people that come to the bar, and if the weather stays a little bit like it is, we'll have a lot of people sitting outside, so having that sort of river safety awareness is, is really important to everyone that works here. It's the latest effort to get as many people as possible aware of the dangers of water and what to do in an emergency. These are just some of the lives that have been lost over the past few years. Shockingly, five people died in just eight days in one period in the spring. It is unfortunate we've had um, quite a traumatic year on the River Ouse this year. We've had five fatalities and a number of rescues that um, the Fire Service and the York Rescue Boat have carried out. Um, so the, t the idea of today's campaign is to train the Riverside establishments up so staff can provide immediate uh, emergency response to try and save life in the future. And this hand stays where it is, all those coils will be exactly the same length. So why could there have been so many drowning incidents and rescues taking place in York? It's a massive student population. You've got two massive universities and everything's around the river, well, like all your right. shops, your bars and that. And accidents happen, you know, slips, trips and falls make up a huge percentage of, of drownings around the UK. And most people who enter the water didn't intentionally go in the water. On a warm day like today, York's Riverside continues to be a magnet for people wanting to relax and have a few drinks. It's hoped everyone will stay safe, but if anything should go wrong, help is not far away now. Well, yes, it's been a very busy day down here on the Riverside, seeing all that training taking place, and you saw... Bob Hoskins from North Yorkshire Fire and Rescue Service in that piece. He looks a little bit different this evening. You've got your uh, water right. gear on, Bob. Yes, that's right. Uh, come out dressed a little bit differently tonight for you. Looking very good. Now, tell me this. I mean, it, it's tragic. We've heard about eight people losing their lives in such a short space of time there. What's the impact on the community? I mean, and for the, indeed for the people like yourselves who are trying to keep this place safe. Yeah, it's, it's a huge impact on the community. And it's, I say it's for such a wide range of reasons as well. Uh, we've got mental health issues. We've got people who've been out and had a few drinks and uh, got waylaid. People who've become separated from from friends and don't maybe know the area and have ended up in the water uh, and it has an effect on the community also the people who've got to go out there and uh, recover them etc so yeah quite devastating earlier in the year it was and i'm not making light of this because it is a very serious subject but we've got people now who are perhaps more used to pulling pints now actually going to be helping to pull people out of the water how important is that absolutely it's that initial point when people enter the water where we can make the most difference and, and react so if we can train the establishments along the water side who are working there day in day out and give them those life-saving techniques, that's fantastic. And that's what we're hoping to do, roll that initiative right out along the river to give people the best chance of survival if they do end up in the water. And we know that as well, of course, as being a fire service, you're a rescue service as well, and we've got right. some of your guys out on the water, in fact, in one of the boats now, just having a little uh, practice and a little patrol up and down to, to make sure everything's OK. You work in partnership as well, of course, with the York Rescue Boat, and Dave Wilson's here from, uh, from that charity. And it's a charity which really has grown so quickly because it needs to. Yes, we, uh, we went operational just over four years ago. Um, we thought that we were just going to be pulling drunks out the river. Uh, it's changed massively since then. We get involved in all sorts of activities alongside the river, 
Um, as Bob said, it's mental health issues, it's boats, it's people slip strips and falls. So we've had to adapt to what we thought we were going to be doing to what we actually do now. And how important is it to have the bars and restaurants on, on side helping out here? Oh, it's brilliant because they're going to be, there's a chance they're going to be the first people to see someone in the water. So as well as calling 999 and asking for fire and rescue, they can also deploy the throw bags, which they're getting trained to do. So at least if someone in the water has got something to hold on to, by the time the emergency services or we turn up, um, there's more of a chance of that person being saved. OK, we've got 10 seconds left. Just tell us what we should do quickly. If someone is seen in the water, what do we need to do? Well, the first thing, phone the emergency services, attract their attention and look along the riverside. There's plenty of uh, throw, throw rings, so grab one of them and try and get something out of the water so I can hold on to it okay, to keep them off the water. Get that 999 call in straight Absolutely, away. as Thanks quick as possible. Thanks very much to everybody. Uh, doing a great job here. Let's hope uh, that this new scheme really does make a difference. OK, Ian.